Brown is an internationally recognized scholar in the area of robotics. One of his major contributions was the development of the SD-1 and SD-2 bipedal robots early in his career at OSU. They were the first bipedal robots in the United States and they made a profound impact that contributed to the humanoid robotic industry. So throughout his career, Yuan advanced robotics, um, including recent efforts to make robots that track and follow robustly for elder care, also for disaster recovery. He has some rad hard robots he's been working on that are very interesting. He's also had mobile patents. So one of those uh, recently is the circular wave drive, CWD technology. That's a robot speed reducer, a new technology for that. And uh, due to that work, Yuan received the OSU 2016 Innovator of the Year Award just recently. So without doubt, uh, Yuan's one of our most prominent educators, researchers, and leaders who's demonstrated excellence in teaching, research, and service that brought international recognition to OSU and to our department. I didn't mention that he's mentored lots of students throughout his career, many of whom have gone on to become faculty at top institutions worldwide. So again, his career exemplifies excellence in leadership, service, research, and teaching. So uh, congratulations, Juan, on your retirement. We look forward to your continued contributions to our department. It shows the kind of selfless person I think that uh, Yuan has always been, always for the good of the community, uh, always for the good of the department, and, and I uh, really always respect him very much for that. I have been more fortunate to have Yuan as a graduate student. He was very creative. While he was here, he wrote seven journal papers. And two conference papers I really appreciate uh, the opportunity this university department uh, gave to me. And uh, my experience uh, due to many things actually has been very rich. Xiao uh, Dong already mentioned that when I was young, a lot of things happening in China, turmoil, revolution. Then right, uh, I was lucky right after revolution, cultural revolution, I came to the United States and uh, accepted by our department. A lot of changes happened. At that time, our department was ranked at number 10, top 10, <laughs> and the top two, Cole, Dr. Cole was the department chair. I remember the first time I came to the department, uh, Dr. Cole, Professor Amami were the two people I met first. And uh, Professor Xiong Xu actually helped me accept uh, to, the, to, the, to the department. Professor Xu passed away last year. And uh, in that it was 1979. 1979, you believe it or not, only one Chinese student graduate or undergraduate from China. Uh, that was me. And it's only now. But uh, today, there are about uh, close to 4,000 Chinese students from China on campus. And uh, I still remember I took classes uh, from the very first uh, quarter, took classes from Professor Robert Behan. Professor Behan is here. <laughs> Professor Jigadish, take courses from Professor Gabetz, and I take a course uh, from Professor K. Breeding, and I take a course from Fusik. Fusik <laughs> also is here today. I do not remember I took any course from uh, Umut. And uh, of course, Professor Hamami was uh, my advisor. Then I, I look around, all my former professors, they all retired. <laughs> so it's time for me to retire. <laughs> so, so today I, 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 I retire. And uh, I am not uh, moving away. And I will still be around after two months. I have to stay out of any paid or volunteer capacity for two months. <laughs> then I will come back and uh, to, to work with you if there is an opportunity. Okay, so. Again, thank you for your support, for your being a uh, colleague when I was a faculty and uh, when I was a department chair. And uh, again, thank you so much for coming. Okay, enjoy the food.